what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of spartacus let's do this man spartacus blood and sand season one episode 11 and 12 is here today so let's just jump into it man it's been an honor to watch this series man it's a really good series um so we know what's brewing we know uh spartacus was forced to kill his best friend among them varro r.i.p to him that was sad it was really sad now spartacus is kind of broken um so i want to see what they're going to do next because i don't know about but he had to feel some sort of way about it too because you know what i'm saying because now he was his standing of what he was trying to get to get into politics and he was shot down you know he did it because he wanted because he wanted to please them and they shot him down tell him oh you're not made for politics blah 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 so i want to see how he's going to respond to this of course so we're just going to jump into this episode and i'll give you guys my thoughts after the fact in the review so i'll see you guys then all right so we're back <laughs> we're back at it this review is going to take a while i don't know how long i'm gonna do this review for but man those two episodes i just watched has got to be you know two of the best episodes that i've watched for any tv shows since i've been watching tv shows um the surprises the the okie dokes you know what i'm saying it's like you thinking one thing and then you realize oh shit this is what's really happening ah, man the writing for this show first of all let me deal with the technical aspects the cg is bad <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie the cg is bad not necessarily the green screen but the graphics that they they are using to showcase like guts and and um not necessarily the blood but just the guts like you know intestines you know spilling out and stuff it's terrible it's so obvious it's not real um so not necessarily that it, i know it's bad so it, I, I don't care i know it's fake so i don't care so it's not like i'm taking away points for that it's just very noticeable and this show is not it's not that old you know what i'm saying like it's not that old where you can say okay they didn't know any better <laughs> at the time um it was at a time where special effects was still pretty good you know what i'm saying um but then again you also gotta you know put in and say well it's just it's just a tv show so maybe they just didn't have the budget to polish things out you know the sound design you know in this in um in this show is very good um and also you know the the acting awesome acting every the story is just they 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 rev you up they rev you up for these moments man and it's just awesome so let's talk about what's going on man all well not all secrets are out I actually thought they were going to drop the bomb about Spartacus on Ilithia. I thought they were going to drop that bomb on her that they that they mistakenly slept together because I think I think Glaber would have probably um killed her on the spot. I I really do believe that he probably would have killed her, but probably not because she's like kind of important. She belongs to a noble family which he's kind of trying to ride um their her coattails in a in a certain kind of way i don't i'm trying to remember exactly if it's her riding his coattails or him 
I'm pretty sure it's him. That's I, I, I think she's the one that's like super important belonging. Like her dad is like a big deal or some shit like that. I think her dad is like a senator, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you guys can correct me in the comment section, of course, if you're listening to this review. Um, but I think, you know, I think that's probably why he didn't kill her on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, because... Batiatos is really out here winning right now. And now, as Spartacus say at the end, like they they're going to plan something to kill them all. So I think episode thir thirteen, which is the end of the season, is going to be something. It's going to be something, and I'm ready for it. I'll probably release that episode this weekend, um, just so we can finish up the first season, and then we can go into see the um the prequel next next week at some point so we'll see what happens with that but man this was awesome asher is a savage and and the thing about it is this man when it comes to asher his character reminds me a lot of little finger because that's the kind of stuff that little finger did he does this really manipulative stuff behind the scene and sometimes and he was only little finger was only loyal to one person and that was Cat. So, if you have watched the Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you know, go check it out. Whatever. Um, so, when it comes on to what he did with Navia, and I never thought, they, I mean, they got so close to getting caught, I was like, ah, oh, they got away with it again. <laughs> Between her and Crixus. But then Asher, because remember, I remember back, I don't remember what episode it was when Asher actually knew about this relationship. He caught the two of them sleeping together, right? He saw it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like episode 10. It it, it was an episode way back. We're well, not way too far back, maybe seven or eight, somewhere there. So he knew about it and he took advantage of it because... You know what I'm saying? He figured out a way to use it to his advantage if he ever got the chance. Um, which we know he did that one thing. Salonius went out. I'm not going to lie. Like, he, he, he went out fighting. So, I can't fault him for that. It's just unfortunate that he was in a situation. You ever against Spartacus, you weren't going to win that fight. He's an old dude. Obviously, they showed his age. I'm surprised he actually went out there. You know what I'm saying? As an older guy. You know what I'm saying? you know, showing his bones, <laughs> but anyways, um, it's, to me, it's, you know what I'm saying, like, he got set up, of course, I didn't even, like, I was like, I wonder if, if this is a setup to, and they're setting him up to take the fall, and that's exactly what happened, and I figured it out before, um, before he went in there, because I was like, man, I'm looking at what, what's happening, and I'm like, this just doesn't seem right, it just it just does not seem right but this has been set, been setting up for a long time from from the first time that Asher approached Salonius it was all a setup but i thought he was straying because of how because the way how they were portraying portraying things in the show from him being kind of in support boarding it towards Batiatos that entire thing was the plan the plan is to let people witness that and stuff like that. Let us, the audience, think that they're not meshing anymore. He's being disloyal, you know, going behind their back with Salonius and stuff like that when they were actually working together to get Salonius in that exact spot at that very time. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, so... I don't know if the the dude that got hurt, that got his neck bit, I don't know if that was actually part of the plan. It doesn't seem like it. I think that was just a wrench in the plan. Um, and they just decided to, Asher just maybe just called an audible and be like, yo, you go deal with that. I got this. Okay. So um, maybe, maybe the plan, maybe the plan was... For both of them to die because the dude that that Spartacus ended up killing in the med bay or whatever. Um, the dude that basically killed his wife. Um, maybe, 
you know, maybe he was supposed to die with Salonius. Maybe he, because he was a loose end, he was a loose end. So, I mean, he could have been part of the plan to kill them both in there. Maybe he was supposed to kill, um, um, what's his name? Calavius, right? Maybe he was supposed to kill Calavius and then Asher would kill him to get all the loose ends out of the way and everything kind of worked out in their favor from how they were planning. Um, but yeah, man, Batiata's telling Lucretia, yo, I knew you were, cause I was like, how has this been going on and nobody is telling him? I'm like, this dude must know. I think I mentioned it in my last review. Where I'm like, this can't keep happening. And Batiatos doesn't know. Like, that's strange that he would know and this is happening in his house. Like, that's very strange. That would have been very strange. As a house full of slaves. They're not even hiding it when she's been summoning him and all of this other stuff. Somebody must have said something to Batiatos at some point. A guard or something. And I'm like... You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, maybe they're afraid of, of betraying Lucretia. I don't know. But at the same time, um, I I truly believe that's, that he knew. You get what I'm saying? So, um, him being a savage and saying to her, listen, man, just pay attention to the baby from now on. So, bitch, he probably will kill her after she has the baby, like. Yo, dude, don't. Batiatos is not a man to mess with. He's smart. Um, he's he, he's very smart, and he doesn't take kindly to you, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Looking down on him, make him feel like he's inferior to you. That nigga will kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So respect to Batiatos for being a savage in the series, man. But Spartacus is after that head now because he he found out. That you killed his that you killed his wife or you ordered it, so that's a problem. I'm glad that Spartacus has actually stayed his hand because of that law. That law is a vicious law, man. Like if one slave betrayed it, betrayed their master, all the slaves of the house gotta die. Like that's crazy, bro. But anyways, man, this I'm I'm very very looking forward. What happened to Chris was was a tragedy. Um. But, it, 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 you know, if it was me, I probably would have done the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Based, based on how much Crixus hates Asher. And he knows for a fact that Asher did that to spite him. He knows for a fact that he did it to spite him. Um, so, that is crazy. I don't know what's going to happen to Navia. But I'm hoping that they don't kill her. Even though I do believe that they're probably going to kill her. Um, because she, she, she betrayed the house. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lucretia kind of put some sort of mark on her. It seems with a knife, it seems like she got a mark on her forehead or something. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen to him. Hopefully she survives this. Um, Aurelia, um, Varro's wife now works in the Batiata's house. I don't know how things are going to play out here. I don't think Spartacus is ever going to have another lover. I don't think he's up for that. So, um, so Mira and Aurelia is fresh out of luck. If they ever fall for him, I think the only person he'll ever love is Sura. So, um, that's hard to get over. That's the love of his life and that's going to be hard for him. But as I said, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. You guys suggested this series, man. And it's, it's blowing my mind. The writing is awesome the writing is awesome it's something i never expected was starting the series um i thought it was going to be a straight a straightforward story but they obviously are doing a very great job of surprising me and just blowing my freaking mind on the things that they're pulling at the end of the season is just freaking awesome it was a great build up world building and all of that good stuff now we're here so thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys for the next one Peace.